This is question number four. We're told a 40-year building programme for new houses began in Old Town in the year 1951, which was year one, and finished in 1990, which was year 40. The number of houses built each year form an arithmetic sequence with first term A and common difference D. Given that 2,400 new houses were built in 1960 and 600 new houses were built in 1990, find A for three marks the value of D. So all we're looking for is a term in an arithmetic sequence. A sub n is equal to A plus n minus 1D. So this is given in the formula book. So if we take the, uh, the term from 1990, that's the 40th term, we can say 600 is equal to A plus 40 minus 1, which is 39, lots of a difference. I'm going to call that one equation 1. If we look now, we have 1960. 1960 is going to give me the 10th term. So 2400 zero, zero is equal to A plus 9D, and I'm going to call that equation 2. If we do 1 minus 2, we can eliminate the A's. So subtracting downwards, we're going to have negative 1800, and that's going to be equal to 30 lots of D. Dividing both sides by 30, that's going to give us that D is going to be negative 60. So the common difference is negative 60. In part B, for two marks, we need to find the value of A. So we can pick either one of these equations. I'm going to pick equation 2. 2,400 is equal to A. And then we've got 9 lots of D, which is going to now be subtracting 540. That's 9 times by 60. So we have 2940 is equal to A. So we can say A, the first term, that's the number of houses built in the first year, was 2,940. In part C for three marks, the total number of houses built in Old Town over the 40-year period. So if we collect the information A, N, D, S and L, we've got a couple of different choices. We know that the first term, A, is 2940, so 2940, the number is going to be 40, the common difference is negative 60. We want the sum of the first 40 terms and we also have the last term. The last term is 600. So using either formula, we can you have uh, S of n is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d, or we can have now the sum of n terms is equal to n over 2, a plus l, where a is the first term and l is the last term. I'm going to use this second one, so we can say the sum of the first 40 terms is 40 over 2, so 40 divided by 2. We've got the first term, which is 2940, plus the last term, which is going to give us 600. So if we look at this now, that's going to give me 20 lots of 3540. So if we just multiply this now, that's going to give me a total here of 70800. So that's our final answer, and we have 70,800. So I've used the second formula, you can use either one to go ahead and find the value for all three marks.